Happy December 8th, 2011, folks. My name is Will, and I'm going to show you today how to take care of oxidized headlights. When I say oxidized headlights, I'm talking about headlights with a fog or a haze that has built up over time on them. This usually applies to plastic headlights because they aren't durable like, uh, you know, glass. Um, this is an easy process. Um, it's, this tutorial is going to be perfect for if you have minor to moderate damage. If you have severe damage, you should probably just click off this tutorial right now. Go check out a wet sanding tutorial. But with that, with that said, I think we should go out and see what I did last night. Alright, now it's time to do a quick comparison of the two headlights that I've got here. Take a look at this one. Now this one hasn't been done yet. You can see that kind of rough um, what would you even call that spider webbing or something stress it's almost like stress fractures in the in the plastic so that that's the state of that headlight now come take a look at what I did last night look at this one. Oh my gosh it looks nice really it's just Cleared up quite a bit. This headlight was actually a little worse than this other one over here. We'll take another look over here. Yep, you can see it just looks dusty. I guarantee this is completely clean. I wiped it down before we started filming this segment, and uh, you can see it just does not look new at all. It looks uh, pretty old and decrepit, to be honest. Alright, so here's the uh, products I used to get the desired results today. Um, first of all, quick quick detailer. Um, I would use that before and after. Before, just because you don't want to have any grit left on the outside of the headlight. I mean, I'm assuming you've already washed your car. You should definitely wash your car before you do this process. But, <clears throat> You know, hit the headlight with a little bit of a quick detailer because uh, you don't want any grit left over when you're buffing because that that grit could then be uh, just literally buffed into the headlight and um, it, it'll leave some uh, swirl marks and I, it, it's not something you want to have to deal with so yeah, just make sure the headlight surface is clean. Next we're going to talk about the Ultimate Compound. That is what I use to actually buff the headlight. So I apply that to um, right here, I'll show you, the, the buffing pad there, <clears throat> and I'll show you that. Last we, uh, we pretty much used this, you know, whatever wax you want really, I, I don't care. Um, I used the, the last of this Deep Crystal System Carnuma Wax by McGuire's, it's a, it's a good brand, you know. Basically, I just use it to um, help seal in the work that I just did on the headlight so that it will remain clear longer. It's, it's you know, it's a protectant, so anyway, that's that. that. And then, you know, here's my tool that I'm using. You can do this process by hand, but I'm using the Porter Cable 2142, 41, wait, uh, I can't remember which. <laughs> Let me let me see what which one is this? 2142 or no, that's that's Battlefield. 7424. Hey, there it is. All right. Sorry about that, folks. Um so yeah, uh it, you know, the thing about the buffers is it just makes the job a lot faster, a lot easier. But you know, just consider that if you don't have one, you can you, you can do this by hand. It's not a big deal. Um okay, so now I'm going to show you the process of how to use all these uh, on the next headlight that I haven't done yet. All right, here we go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, like I said before, take this quick detailer by McGuire's, and it really doesn't matter which one you use, but I like this one. I'm gonna spray down the surface and just make sure there's no grit left over. Um, and then we're gonna start buffing. So, with that said, spray in a nice little bit like that wipe it away of 
quick detailer basically just gives it this kind of uh, shine like you just did some work, or serious work on it but you didn't. It's kind of a lazy man's detail. We're going to take the quick compound and we're going to put it onto the buffing pad and then we're going to start buffing right now. Oh, um, make sure that you shake it up well. just did this last night so I probably don't need to really, you know, shake it too much but always a good idea. Another thing you want to make sure is you don't have a, a wrist watch on or anything like that. I'm serious, you could easily scratch, destroy the paint. Um, and when you're buffing, don't get too close to the edges here. You can burn through the paint pretty easily because it's on the edge of the, you know, the contour of the car. And uh, that's where the paint is the weakest. So, I'm just going to put a little bit on there, not too much. You don't you definitely don't want to put too much product. That can actually um, it can actually leave residue on there, and you don't want to do that. You want it to be perfectly clear. So let's get that on there. Make sure to kind of rub it in a little bit so that you're not gonna get uh, so that's not gonna spray all over the place. Here we go. And uh, by the way, I have my power setting to five, just to quickly, like, just, you know, burn through this uh, oxidation. You could do, um, I guess the general rule of thumb is to do four, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, well, that looks pretty good, but I, I have a feeling that um, I'm going to do one more coat. Basically, I ran through all the material, the product. It's dried out, and it's it's no longer showing a residue. It's it's no longer showing a residue on the headlight, which means I need to apply a little bit more. Um, so I'm just going to do a second coat, and then I'm going to show you the waxing process. And uh, then uh, basically you just uh, finish it off with a little quick detailer. And I'll, I'll show you why I do that anyway uh, in a, one moment. Take microfiber cloth like this one and wipe it down. We got a lot of residue left over from my uh, buffing pad, so. What that is, that's what it is. Now that headlight is looking really good. Let's, let's uh, now apply some wax to this. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. We got our deep crystal carnauba here, and then we got a uh, wax applicator. Now I'm using this instead of the buffer because I don't have an extra pad on me right now, and I don't want to cross uh, contaminate the pad. And uh, I don't know, probably wouldn't do a whole lot, but you don't want to do that. Shake it up. Let's get somewhere. And apply it. This is gonna leave. Come on. Almost gone. 
This is gonna leave these headlights well protected for uh, probably six months. Well, it's debated on different different waxes last different lengths of time, but anyway, it's gonna look good. <laughs> Applying a circular motion just ensures that you get it into all the areas. And now that we've applied the wax, we're gonna wait for about five minutes, let it cure, and then we'll remove it. So the headlights are looking really good right now. We're just gonna clear it up with the quick detailer by Meguiar's. And uh, this actually helps to remove some of the static, I noticed. Uh, when you finish with the wax, which we have to remove first, by the way, you're gonna, get, you're gonna notice a, a static along the uh, surface. That's pretty much from the buffer. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna wanna get rid of that so that you don't get a bunch of leaves sticking to the headlights and stuff, you know what I mean? We'll wait for the siren. These headlights are looking really good. Let's spray it down with a quick detail. I get rid of all the static left over from the job we just did. Make sure to get around the headlight as well. And now all that's left is to admire the job that we just did. Look at that headlight. It, uh, it looks practically new. I mean, there are some little rock chips that you can't see, um, maybe on the camera, but I mean, these things look new. So um, that's that's all there is to it. It's a really simple process. Um, yeah, and uh, it, it, it's a really effective process, and that's why I like to do it all the time. I would suggest doing it every six months to keep them looking nice. Anyways, my name is Will. Thanks for watching.